there, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Oh, today is definitely a hoodie day. So I spent some wonderful time with Roly at uh, Novimbia's house <laughs> this last weekend. And I swear I have still not recovered. I'm feeling a little bit, for lack of a better word, ploppy goo goo. That is disgusting. I cannot tell you how much like stupid fun like it was such a fun weekend like literally feel like I've got like a full body hangover from laughing so much That's not the point today. We are here to watch another episode of Janice Dickinson's modeling <laughs> oh, I'm off on one today girls off on one So the last episode that we watched of this was utterly disgraceful to the nth degree some might say <laughs> Aren't you clever? Thank you. It's been brilliant. There was body shaming. There was like penis. There was a testoclier. There was Janice being a menace, being like, I can't believe you're doing all that. And then being like, oh, but I love you. But you're also disgusting, girls. How did she ever think that this was like appropriate? I don't know. I don't know. The last episode was quite possibly the most gross episode that we have seen so far for more than one reason should we say there was such a huge amount of interaction on that episode when i put it live it's a bit like wild actually like literally scrolling through the comments it is just bonkers what you guys picked up on that i like sort of missed out a little bit and like sharing your own experiences with like body shaming like it was rife the early 2000s or the mid 2000s shall i say for this was just rife with like be a size zero or you are worthless in any terms of like image-based career, it would seem. With that being said, why don't we torture ourselves again? <laughs> so, my lovelies, today we are watching episode four. I'm not actually sure what this episode is called. What's it called? Shall I have a little peep somewhere? Shall I have a little peep? Where's the peep? Okay, this is called First Job. I wonder if Janice Dickinson's going to get a job. So, without any further ado, why don't we pop in the hanger and remember Janice Dickinson's favourite line. I was, I was the world's, world's first supermodel. And let's watch episode four. Biggest model in Los Angeles. Is she? You know it, I know it. Who's she? Is she talking about Janice? We blew out our birthday candles. What? Is that Janice? People wish for horses or something. Mine was always, I wish to be a model. Is that a Janice Dickinson impersonator? Oh, is she going to scream like I do sometimes? And it was unbelievable. I got out of the car, I saw lines wrapped around the block, waving and shouting and chanting my name, and I, I got a little nervous. Hoo ha! And I looked up. I Dressed like the Mad Hatter, I love it. I can't even find the words to tell you how amazed I was at the turnout of the open call. Right, okay. Oh, she's got a red carpet. Oh, look. Look at the woman. I do quite like Janice Dickinson's style in a strange way. It's like this, it's kind of a little bit of me. She still wears a little bit more color than I do, but this kind of like, I don't know, in my words, in my last episode, I was actually literally dressed like a necromancer with lots of money, but Horrible little ice cream, please. You horrible, horrible girl. Can you hear me back there? Oh, God. She doesn't even need that, does she? I was in line for 32 years, waiting for this moment, waiting to be standing here in front of you. I mean, I've been on the smile of 32 years in a queue. It's a bit much, isn't it, girls? So, I don't really understand what's happening here. So, in the last episode, we saw, like, the two girls from, uh, her, like, pre-existing, like, picked group of people, like, get, like, turned down or told that they've got two weeks to lose, like, 80 kilos of body weight or whatever it was nonsense that she suggested. So, we weren't, like, saying, like, oh, Janice today is having a, an open call. We just literally, like, woken up, gone straight into this open call, which is clearly, like, not just for the modelling agency, because does she even have a business licence yet? We don't know. Like, that storyline was dropped as soon as it was spoken about, wasn't it? Like, swept away under the covers, just like the 2008 financial crash, girls. Let's not go there. <laughs> So what is this? So she's having an open call, but it's because it's like a TV show that she's filming. There will be like people coming here to go on TV, right? Basically, I guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right. Uh, more investigation. Oh, look. A Sherry Worth lookalike. I want your gum tissue. I will kick ass if anybody <laughs> How are you saying that? Stay in line. Stay fabulous and hopefully the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency will continue to rule. You haven't even started. What are you talking about? What is this? I'm so grateful that you all took the time to oh, come to my agency. Oh, so these... What are you thinking? Yeah, are you want a model? Yeah. How old are you? 44. Okay, why are you here? All the women are better. Young men with pigtails, what are you thinking? Hi, what's your name? Lori Lus. She's a professional model and I'm a model promoter. Whoa! Uh, I'm liking the look a lot. You've got the best walk of any guy I've seen. That's Janice. <laughs> oh, very Hi, sweet. Peter, gorgeous. Peter, All right. go over there and walk for Peter. 
you ever had a model agency before? What's this? No, like? but I want to be with Janet. Trump hit. You want to be with Janet? I want to be with Janet. I want to stay with Janet. My name is Stina. I'm 23 years old. And Stina. I'm from Altadena. How tall are you? Stina's unusual name, isn't it? Do you think maybe her full name was like Christina or something? And she was like, no, cut it off, girls. I want to be a model, girls. Stina. Hmm. I'm from Altadena. How tall are you? 5'10". You and I both agree that you have the best face of anyone we've seen so far. Yeah, really? sure. yeah. I'd be happy to keep you in the S-file. Stina don't, will be don't, a super... Don't say that in front of everyone else, right? I mean, well, maybe, I suppose you could. But, like, her thing is, like, beat down everyone in front of everybody else so that we can cause drama for the ratings. Because everyone is, like, fashion, fashion, fashion on the go. Is that allowed? <laughs> is that allowed? Can you say that? Can you say you've got the best face of anyone I've seen so far whilst everyone else is in the room? Cena will be a supermodel. She's got personality. She's, she's got not wearing spin, the same she's outfit. She's got smile. She's got what it takes. Every major designer in the world will want her. Twirling Every major freedom. magazine will book her because Cena has capital IT. Now let's go to Lockheed. Pennywise. Oh. What, do you what think, is guys? this? You need to wax your ass, brother. Walk, 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 walk. Oh. Those heels, honey. That's why I don't think this is like a real, like she's not like a real, this isn't real, real, no. Simply because like, why would you berate someone for literally standing in line for five, since five o'clock, whatever time this was filmed. This could be like four in the afternoon for all we know. And the idea that she's like, no, you can't walk in those heels. Blah, blah. I mean, I do understand that like, take a second pair of shoes to walk in heels, but like, I know that was a really weird thing to put in there, but like, mm, maybe I do agree with like, don't wear shoes you can't walk in if you're going to an audition. Oh, it's convoluted, girls. But why again? Why again? Is she like, I want all these men to come in and be completely naked. Like, it's very, it seems like she's looking for girls to do like, soft play <laughs> oh oh touch me in the beds and the boys to be like full-on slags is that is that what the modeling industry was for a long time is it i don't know how i feel about that hmm the amount of testicles i've seen in this show is ridiculous Body she's so hot who's this where the hell have you been girl waiting for you babe oh, nice to see you oh a lesbian oh, relationship wait, say hi my name is claudia sharias i'm 24 <laughs> from new york city check this out gabe that walk. Gabriel, you're in this agency so fast, it makes my head spin. I made it all the way to the semi-finals for America's Next Top Model oh. and was disqualified because of my being a transsexual. Janice oh. was the judge and ever since then, she's been like a little guardian angel for me. Look at oh, Nathan. Nathan yes. out of his chair over there. He's confused. What? Nate's all confused. Claudia says yes, but the mind says no. Claudia came to me at first with issues that she did not want her personal issues being announced. And I respect that. But when it was time for a photo session with another man, I had to disclose to the other model that she truly is a man. But. No! That's not it. That's not the tea. I'm not here for that. Well, I didn't expect this today. Do you know, I've got another video in mind after filming this one. And it's just going to be like trans hate central today. I just can't believe that she truly is a man. She's not a man, sis. She's not a man. Do you know what a man is? Does this look like a man to you? A man? Nobody's born a man. You're literally born a baby. And then your body like goes through many different processes to become the person who you are at like 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. Like a full grown man is like typically a fully functioning male adult that can reproduce. Like she wasn't born like that. What are you talking about? But He's afraid to touch her. Exception. Don't be afraid to touch Claudia. <laughs> Okay. Let's get the next set of guys out there. How do you get that body? Oh, I'm running. Hot. Oh, they're thirsting again. What is this? You're a former athlete? Oh, my God. Oh, John very Stalin's nice face. John a huge star. I mean, I couldn't believe that I, I think our number one model is it just arrived out of nowhere. You, Dennis office. Go stand over there. Take your top off right now, even your bottom. You take, you take everything off. Take your bottom off? Oh, oh no. Good heavens. Really fast. What a horrible you know photo. What? I think you're hot. That wasn't even, actually, that was not even the photo that they took on the camera then. That was the photo that we were seeing that we'd just taken with our video camera. If you can think of it like that, I don't know. It's a very strange description. But even that wasn't like a real photo. Oh. I truly believe that reality TV is here to just ridicule people. I get a bit sick. Get a bit sick of this, actually. <laughs> 
Right, this has to go immediately to the Piss Bandits group chat. That is disgusting. Ethan, bring in some hot girls so Peter doesn't quit and leave. Hello, what's your name? Hello, Kelly. So cute. You are so gorgeous. Where are you from? Fargo. Fargo? <laughs> Love Fargo. The movie? Yeah, I've never seen it. You've never seen Fargo? Great body. Nathan, you guys don't have what I'm looking for today. But you can stay for what? I just trust me. Why? Just trust me. I want to hear it. Trust me. Trust me. We're in Southern California. I don't trust anybody. We're in Southern California. Except you. We're All right. In Southern stay. California. Stay. Why is she talking about? I don't trust anybody. Except you. Like she can't run this business. This is this is literally just one of those things where like a celebrity puts their name on something and it becomes a brand. It's not like she she can't run this business she's so uh what's the word not ephemeral because that's too like glamorous what's the word unhinged perhaps unpredictable she's so unpredictable that it's so difficult to like establish whether she'd be actually able to run like a business like this at least it comes across in this reality tv show that way because how unprofessional is it to like talk at someone argue with your business associate that's like actually doing all the work in front of someone rather than being like talk to me in a second we need to discuss why and they could have had like a secret whisper around the corner and made it like really like oh, secret drama for the cameras but no she just had to be like why i don't trust ya well i do actually what was all that about i need a really good bikini girl how do you know if you haven't seen her in a bathing suit yet i can already tell this is like no no i'm not being understood by peter he's not getting my creative vision He's not getting a sense of every editing session I've ever been in as far as seeing other models being photographed. All he sees is dollars and cents, and that's not really working for me on an equal balance right now. Maybe I'll see eye to eye with Peter. I just don't see it yet. There's probably Coors Light commercial. There's about Maxim, FHM. Those are all magazines that do I, I would have to now go and jump off the third story. Fargo right now is ready, according to Peter, for the cover of Maxim. Oh, look okay, at that. Do you see that hateful bracelet? Look at the size of that bracelet. She's wearing an entire glazed donut on her wrist. Have you ever seen a donut with such big thighs? So I have a feeling that Janice here is like, I don't, I just want high fashion models, girl. I don't want anyone else. And... I suppose there are some agencies that work that way, but like realistically, you need well-rounded people that can do a bit of everything. She's even said this in like episode two when she got her new entire place and she was like, all of you, come hither. I, I want you to do this and that and this and that and a bit of all that as well. But now she's like, no. So these, wh what is she doing? She's like flip-flopping backwards and forwards. She's invited him on for his like professional opinion, but she's like, no to every single thing he says. So it's just so strange as to why she's made this like business arrangement if she's not going to, Listen to it? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't really like what he's saying either. I think it's a bit like gauche. But you have invited him here as like your equal in this. So it's very strange. For the cover of Maxim. Okay, fine. But that's not the type of model that I want to represent. See? What I'm saying is Coors Light over here in Maxim is not French Vogue. I want French Vogue. I understand. But to survive as an agency, we need Coors Light. Sometimes. I was ready to give her the boot because Why do we keep focusing on her child being like, And do you like this woman? What about this woman? This feels very like Playboy Mansion does open casting or something. Do you know what I mean? I'm a bit like Hmm. I didn't film my bill, but when I looked over and I saw my son, Nathan, you could scoop him off the floor with a spatula. I was like, hmm, there may be something to this. So I caved. For the first and the last time. You better know that you have an agent over here that's fighting for you, okay? He's fighting for you. I don't get it, but we'll see. Nathan, you've seen a thousand people here. Who is your favorite girl so far, honestly? Four. By far, thank you. Okay. Oh, so you yes. see that? So you see that? This is fashion. Ugly. We are fashion. No. <sighs> Did you see the spite on that guy then? That was a bit much. You can't just be like, she's effing ugly. She's Ugly. Like that's you are a makeup artist. You are a professional woman on the go. If you think that like people are gonna watch this and be like, oh, we're gonna hire you, but you might talk crap about me behind my back because what? What? Doesn't make any sense. Like you can say like she's really not what I've worked with before, and she's really not like who I would have in an agency if I was running it. But you can't just flat out say like she's ugly. Oh, it's just so it's like the language in this show is so hurtful. And I just I sometimes forget just like where we've come from, really. Like even in the short while since like 2000 and when when even was this 2004 2005 hi hello so just so you guys know we saw a total of 936 people today this place was packed this has been a long day
This open call is the... I was supposed to be like she was petting a chihuahua. Did you see that? Do you remember the gay chihuahuas? Hi, guys. Welcome back to a brand new TikTok. Health. Blah, blah, blah. Very strange interaction there. Very strange. I mean, kind of cute to show like affection to people, but in a, like a... I don't know. I don't, um, ooh. I don't know. I just feel like that, that interaction there is so... Maybe she just really likes them and likes having them around. Do you think she's maybe just like trying to use gay people as like an accessory? A bit like viscerally. Do you know what I mean? I'm not sure. Not sure. Not sure about that. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments box below. Because that's kind of a bit confusing to me. I'm not sure I would like... If I was there as like a makeup artist and we were like on TV, I don't think I'd like someone like doing this with my hair like next to me being... Whilst we're having like a business meeting. I'm not sure I'd like that. This open call is the biggest turnout that I've had so far. I don't know what the end result is going to be, but I'm really happy about the choices I made. She looks different in every shot. This continuity is terrible. Ow, oh, piss, machines. Sloppy goo goo. What's this music? Uh, piano girls. Oh, here we are. Alright, go get him in. Hi, Maki! <laughs> Good morning! Volume 90 all the time. Everybody double down, sit down, let's eat it. You're very up. secure, is it? Some of you, the portrait oh, look. Is you. Did you see her? Look who Here's it up. isn't! Some... Look who it isn't. Do we know her? We've seen her before on my channel on America's Next Top Model from the episode in which she has, I believe it's Impetigo, but the other contestants are like, she's got a flesh eating bacteria, girls! Uh! And it's, she's just made to feel awful. Wow. Okay, so she's gone from like the frying pan directly into the Arga, hasn't she? The woman in the Arga. You, the fortunate few, and I, I probably mean few because that's the reality of our industry, will be chosen to be with the Janice Dickinson modeling agency. All right. Yes. Yay. Ooh, so you guys, twins. I am behind all of you. Let's make the best Band day for the agency, and I love you all. Yeah. Okay. Right. Get Duke, Go next door and destroy. Destroy? I'm the makeup artist. I'm the one that tells you what to do. And I don't mean that in a bitchy way. <laughs> I can look at any human being and see five fast ways to improve them. My ways of improving someone's love. Dr. De Browlift is shaking in his jacket box. Time for a brow lift. <laughs> right, so we've given the makeup artist a Almost like a little bit of a... This this has to have been sponsored by MySpace, this whole show. Why would you have just a giant sign saying MySpace? Not even anything, just like a place for friends. But like, whomst. As a professional makeup artist and a former retail artist... Oh, God, I hate that phrase a bit. <laughs> saying something like, I can immediately see five fast ways to improve you. It's like, yeah, I can understand. But in this context, it's going to be in a way that's like... You're just disgusting, aren't you? But let's watch, shall we? My ways of improving someone's look are giving them a package. I'm all about a package. And that's the aesthetic that Janice and I agree on. Okay, that's but actually not hateful. I jumped the gun there a little bit. That's actually not hateful. I did kind of assume that this guy was going to have a little bit of like a, a moment that we saw earlier when he was screaming, She's ugly! She's I thought we were gonna have like a moment of like I can just tell if they're ugly or something like that because it felt very Like why leave that in earlier and then try and have him say like a sweet thing like I want to give them the complete package Like that doesn't like the editing story. There is no storyline in this show It's just a collection of abstract nonsense deeply unsettling, isn't it? The Baba shook evening chiffon. I want to talk to my girl from Fargo Jenny Okay. Do you want to marry Yesterday, her? Yesterday, I went to bat for you like you have no idea. It was me against Janice and the gay mafia, literally. The okay? gay mafia? They don't understand your beauty. I think I do. I think America will understand. When you get in front of the camera today, the you're gay have mafia? to show that it. All right. Are you with me? Are you going to rock it? I'm going to rock it. All right. I'm here with Janice Shaw. Getting ready to change. Oh, Lord, no, dear girls. girls. Special what was that? I'm here with Janice Shaw. Getting ready to change into my bathing suit. Since I'm a special girl with special needs, I'm going to go change in my own bathroom. You know, because I haven't had my full surgery yet. I don't want to, you know, freak anyone out or anything like that. See, that's actually really sweet of her to say something like that. But, like, she would have had this moment of, like, I don't want to freak anyone out or anything. So that's why I haven't done it. 
Why, why have they made like a moment of that? I mean, I can understand because literally having a trans person on anything back in this day and age would have been like, wow, shocking. I just kind of, I really hate it. I really hate it because it still makes, it still reminds me of like, I don't know, just how far we have to go. I'm just gonna start taking this hair out. Just take it comb, back comb, and make it big. You need red lips and heavier black eyeliner. Do you know what they can do with you? Put a tan on you. Breasts. Right, Mummy's got breasts. We need to get going. <laughs> what happened? What? Have they put makeup on this guy to look like this? This guy didn't look like this just now. Have they like bruised him up with some makeup? I don't understand. Or is this bad spray tan? Why would you do this? This is so strange. All right. The perfect ass. Yeah. Buttocks. I need you guys to bring the game up bigger within yourselves. Like bubbly music. It. If you don't see it now, you're all going home. I don't care what you look like. Right here, look at me. Give me some looks in the camera. Just add that look in your eye. Hold that Horrible. Look right there. Better. Don't put on different briefs. The briefs suck. Don't change the thing. Okay, good, we got it. Horrible. Right here. Good. Is he taking Only the photo? Offers no. Playboy, Maxim, FHM. Is this working for you? It's perfect. Keep going. I intend to turn the Janice Dickinson Modeling Agency into the Paris of the United States. Fargo. What are you talking about? What, are you, what, by behaving like this and being unprofessional and completely unhinged in your decisions? <laughs> Me. This this show is so it's like Janice wants to say the most shocking thing at any moment that requires like because like who is this show for? Who is this show? If you're in if you're in the fashion industry in any way, shape, or form and you watched a show like this, you'd be like, this is not a, this is like a circus of what fashion is. This is not this is like somebody reading what fashion is and reading it only from all the bad points of view and then is trying to make like a pantomime of the worst situations ever in fashion like but is it for people who are trying to get into the fashion industry because they're being led to believe that this is what happens when absolutely it doesn't is this like janice's way of like trying to sabotage the modeling industry from the inside out so she can be like i was the world's first and only supermodel girls what is this is that what it is have i cracked the car oh, i've she's cracked the code she's got a degree fargo right now is playboy penthouse ready Okay, fine, but those aren't the type of models that I want in this agency. We need you to need put something to over your hair. Time. It's too blonde for me. That's what it is. It's, you look beautiful, but it's the blondness. And you're too short, so I'm going to fix that. I was getting a huge sense that Peter and I have a huge difference of opinions. I think with my instinct in my brain, he thinks with his... I don't know. I don't get it. I just his don't get airplane? it. You're going to have to prove to me. Right? This girl would oh. F maximum at FHM yeah. within a week. Hold that. I understand Janice's point, but right. I walked by the, the newsstand on the way over here today and I saw one L, one Marie Claire, one Vogue, and about 50 magazines like FHM and Maxim. I love her! God. He kind of does have a point though in that weird way of like, maybe not now because I don't, I like Maxim and FHM and like Nuts magazine. Like, are they still even a thing anymore? Because like even the page three in the UK is like not a thing now. Maybe back in this day and age, it probably would have been. But like, I don't know. He seems to have a point of like, you do seem to see those like trash magazines a lot more than you would ever see someone picking up Harper's Bazaar or Vogue. And you would never see someone quite like this in something like Harper's Bazaar unless they were like there for a point or something in like a specific shoot that highlights something very specific. I don't know. So maybe he does have a point. I just don't feel like having all this discussion in front of someone a, pays any attention to their mental health at all, and B, sets a good example of like how you should run a business. But it's all reality TV, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, she's so hot, the power went out. So, well, the power's gone so out now. We have to do. Right, cancel. Oh, an awful photo. Come on, Claudia. Well, kind of looks a bit like Janice. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> you are insulting my model. No, just pretend. Do a kiss. You don't have to stick your tongue in there. What? Intimate photographs for perfume ads. You have to get over your fear of being next to a man, a woman, a woman, man's man's woman. Does that make any sense? Grab him. Like, put, hide the breasts. I don't want to see the breasts. 
Yeah. What is this? Embrace What's happening? her and get close. What is this? So far today, everything has been all the transsexual thing. Yes, but exactly. I believe in you and I don't judge you. I know. I just saw you from right away. We're going to help people. You're going to help me with the girls and the guys with this agency. Janice has been very supportive with me through no. everything. She wants me to teach the girls how to do runway and walk and pose and stuff like that. So we'll see. I didn't get that vibe at all. I wonder if maybe she was brought back later to make this like headshot or something, this talking head moment, because I actually got Janice then making everything out about the, the transsexual thing. I am going to level with you guys here. I actually don't mind the word transsexual. I describe myself as a transsexual woman because transgender, I believe, is like an umbrella term. It's not always, but I believe it's an umbrella term that, that consists of lots of different types of people who live different experiences to me. I believe the word transsexual woman has like kind of like a pretty like A to B idea of what like the journey is and the type of person I am. So I don't mind it. Don't necessarily go around calling everyone else that though, because they might not like that word. I don't get why Janice has like decided to make this whole about, as she said, the transsexual thing. And I felt then like Janice was talking at Claudia in a way that's like, you'll be here for what I want you to be here for, which is, you know, ratings, drama, TV, nonsense about like the kind of person you are. And I don't feel like Claudia wants that at all. And from that one little telling sentence that like, today's been all about the transsexual thing. It is like, she doesn't want it to be about that. She just wants to live her life and she wants to be able to have the same opportunities as other women, which includes being a model. <laughs> That's awful. My name is Peter. I'm Sarah. You're Sarah? Yeah. I think you have a very, very interesting look. I may want to just steal you away from your family just for a few minutes, take a couple quick pictures steal of you. Steal you away okay. from your family? I was walking around. I want to steal you away from your family to take a few photos of you. I had that sentence, sis. No thanks. The mall with my family, and we were just shopping and looking through the windows of the shops, and we came by this agency with Janice Dickinson, and Peter came out. And Where's he this background to now? Pictures of me. You all right with that? Yep. Janice. Yo. Vaseline filter. No. No. Here it is. I'm gonna go pull it right now. I love this girl. Hi. I'm Janice. How do you do? I'm there. How old are you? 18. Hey, this is your, this is my lucky day to meet you right now. <laughs> you just got discovered. You're going to be the next Kate Moss. Where am I? Diva, 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 diva. It's like you. Take a look at this. Where are my divas? Janice and I are flipping out over her. Hold I'm going to do you myself. Okay, thank you. She must be something special, eh? You're adorable. Come here, honey. This is your lucky moment. Come on, I get to shoot you. I love your teeth. I love your energy. I love everything about you. Oh my god. Sit down. Go. I mean, she's gorgeous, yeah. but it's just a bit weird. Beautiful. Good. Horrible. Peter found her. Peter gets all credit. This just rules out Fargo. Yes, that's great. Great. Got this. This just rules out Fargo. My goodness. So, like, the other girl that they've had this whole, like, storyline about this whole episode now is, like, gone? What the actual f*** is going on in here, je ne sois Line them up. So Line them up. Hours Front to back. Entire... I'm sending bitches home like a heart attack. Every day of shooting the models, I had my picks. I invited them into my office to let each and every one of them know whether they're going to have a position in my agency or not. I'm going to shoot from my hips the way I always have. Where do I go from here? Oh, goodness. I'm getting to the yes pile. Christina Jeffers, welcome. Oh. Is this the contestant reality TV bit, I guess? Miss Jenny Gilbertron. Oh! She just, uh, Janice this is like, absolutely not. You. You're gonna have to make me believe in you. Your new nickname's Fargo. <laughs> Fargo! Sarah Isel. Oh! Did you see that man there had like a, a blurred on his face? He was like, no, I don't want to be a part of all this. Absolutely not. Okay, so she made it in as well. Once in a lifetime, uh, a Kate Moss comes along. Once in a lifetime, a Sarah comes along. Welcome to my agency. 
The last name I'm gonna call is Claudia. We need you in this agency to teach the girls and the guys how to walk. Claudia has more potential than half my models here. She walks better than anyone in the agency. So she's like got, got an employee? Like, I don't yeah. understand. I'm really cool. It's a pleasure to meet you. Agency's first job. The most importantly to me is what their feet look like. Janice has plenty of pretty faces, but will their feet be up to the task? Oh! Time to go to Wiki Feet! Right, here we go. Okay, the foot lady is here. Hi, I'm Lily Holt. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, please. Oh, oh Lily, you're a legend. I just booked our first job with Lily Holt, the great shoe designer. I'm so excited because you're our okay. first client. Shoe designer. What can we do for you? What I'd like to do is see some of your models. You've got it. And it, most importantly to me is what their feet look like. <laughs> Oh, I kind of, I kind of hate feet. I kind of hate, just like, even pretty feet. I'm like, mm, I'd rather not look at feet. Do you know what I mean? So this is going to be a bit much, isn't it? This whole time. What's your best foot forward, doll? She's got good feet. Best foot, you foot forward. You look pretty big, Margo, I must say, for change. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> look great. A horrible thing to say. Oh. I've been playing soccer. This is very Angelina Jolie leg, isn't it? Serving leg, beauty leg. They are my first potential clients, and I really need this to go well, for I need to start making revenue for this agency. It's already been like seven days. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh. We have the Lily Holt show tonight, where we're going to be wearing shoes, so it's very important that our feet are up to par. Sarah, why haven't you had a pedicure before? Why are you here? This is my first time getting a manicure. Why is Janice getting a pedicure with her, like, models? Like, why is, is Janice also being like, she, she feels very much like a stage mum. She's just like, actually, it's all about me. This whole modelling agency and all the models are about me. Hey, Toddlers and ploppy goo goo. <laughs> I'm pedicure and it's starting to tickle. <laughs> Ooh, tickly women. Ooh. Okay, you guys, rule the day, okay? Oh, she's off to do I something else. I have not hired you to do a runway show. I have hired you to actually mingle with my guests. Have fun. Most of the girls, especially Steen, are a little bit nervous. It's a different kind of job for them. They're standing around and have to actually physically talk to the customers to help the clients sell the shoes and jewelry. You've hired them as mannequins. You've hired them as mannequins. That's really interesting. Is that even a thing that we do anymore? I've hired you to, to, to come to this party. I have hired you to come to this party and mingle with my guests. That doesn't sound like modeling, does it? It sounds like a very specific branch of the adult entertainment industry. Girlfriend experience, anyone? I'm going to cream. Oh dear. But uh, they all look great and they all seem up to it to me. So I'm, I'm confident that the client will be happy. And Who was we'll that makeup it. artist? Where was her like Gabe in person? I want you to go right through that room and I want you to jump up in the center of that table and start doing your thing. Babe, did you judge with that I lighting? I'm a bit nervous because what is this? I'm not going to be wearing all that much clothes and there's going to be a lot of people. Go ahead. The girls look fabulous. They're all put together from what head is to this? toe, just the way we like it. And I think that we're going to have a wonderful show tonight. They're really cute. They're so comfortable, too. They really are. I can spend all night on these. This is Tina. I don't know why, but I'm just so comfortable doing this right now. I was nervous when I found out this morning I had to wear this bikini right now. But actually being out here, it's not so bad. Uh, right now, everything's going great. We're just changing shoes, wearing shoes, having fun mingling. I feel like I've sort of proven myself a little bit that yes, I can do this and yes, I can be here. So it makes but you're me just wearing more shoes. If this, you haven't. Pro you're just wearing shoes. You're just wearing shoes. You're just wearing shoes. You're just wearing shoes. What's happening? What is this? So it makes me feel a little more confident. If Janice was here tonight, I think she'd actually be really proud of us, considering that this was the first show of our agency and first show for any of us. I think she'd say that we did a good job. Show? Hi. How are uh, you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Is this great. the next day, like, Thank reviewing you. them? Well, I have our um, invoice, and you'll be happy to know it says invoice number one on it. 
Well, that's fabulous. I always like to be the first. You are the first. <laughs> there it is. I understand you have a check. Oh, this is good. so good. Here we thank go. Thank you so much. Because, yeah, thank you. Because normally, clients make us wait quite a bit of time. So this is really, we really appreciate you uh, taking care of us like this. Oh, well, I'm more than happy to. It's a pleasure to be working with your agency and, of course, with Janice. Yeah. Too. It's a very proud day for Janice and my agency. We have our first job and our first paycheck in my hand right now. I'm going to go run to the bank and put it in. And uh, it's just a great day for us. What was that? What was that? What was that? I don't know if you've ever had to invoice anyone, but usually it's like 60 days, eh? Which is appalling, but that seems to be the industry average, it seems to be. What was that all about? Why was that like, you're the first client, but like, thank you for getting it to us immediately because usually we get messed around. So like, that doesn't make sense there. That sort of like conversational piece, some might say. A piece, this piece is titled, What the F***? Brought to you by Luxaria. I want this to be business, 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 strong working business, like it was for me. You, I don't care not who has fun, this. it's not about having fun. It's about models working, checks in the bank. Next time on the Jam Dickinson Modeling what? Agency. What? No, stop. What? That was the end of the episode. What the? Okay, I've got so many opinions, my love. So many opinions. Okay, my lovelies. I have pushed my laptop away. I'm going to take my oh, hanger out there. Just kind of digest a bit what we've seen today. Because that was truly weird. That was so... I don't know. If, is my microphone too far away or too close? Or oh, I just don't know. So, first of all, let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about Claudia, shall we? So, this kind of felt a little bit weird. I don't feel like she's been brought into this modelling agency as a model. I think Janice was like, oh, you need to teach all these other girls how to walk. If you have a talent and you are hired for that talent to show off that talent, why would you then be like told to teach it to everyone else? That's the first thing I'm going to say. Also, I don't like this narration, this narrative storyline that we've gone with that like, for some reason, it's like all Claudia is, is trans. It's like everything she's ever done and will always be is just trans. There is nothing else to her like life, it seems, that this show has like put that across. That doesn't make any sense to me because... Any trans person will tell you, any trans person will tell you, you might be many, many, many things before you are trans, but you are always a human being and human beings deserve respect. Next, I want to talk about the model Fargo. Now, this whole like backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards is fine to have. Obviously, in business, you're going to have disagreements with your partners eventually. It's impossible to have like a smooth sailing business from one to, I don't know, I don't know what, like 400 year long business. There are some of those in the UK. It's impossible to go all that length of time without any disagreement with anyone anywhere the way that you manage that is how professionalism is shown and the thing about this tv show is that it almost highlighted how unprofessional this whole thing is from start to finish i mean we kind of knew that anyway it's just it goes back to what i said of who is this show for who is this show for is this show just for like people that want to see drama and nothing else like they don't really care that it's about modeling they don't really care that it's about like a business venture or something maybe they don't even really care that it's about Janice or maybe they do and it's just Janice and drama maybe this is like the Janice Dickinson's drama factory is that what this really is from that point of view the show is doing excellent this is what I, every single time she opens her mouth I'm like my goodness now what's gonna happen oh what's she done now <laughs> I just find it strange that both of these like self confessed like experts in their industry are so open to arguing with each other in front of everyone else. Not only that, she was paraded around almost like this hot piece of ass. And the very fact that like Janice's own child is there on the sofa bit and she was like, I'll have to pick him, scoop him up like goo or something like ploppy goo goo. I'm not having this. I'm not having it actually. No. God, what else was in this, this show today? Good goodness. Feet. That modelling thing at the end, what was that? Have you ever heard of a show like that? What was that? That wasn't fashion. Was it fashion? They were just kind of like, sh and what even was the party? We weren't introduced to anyone there being like, I really like what this shoe looked like on this model. Thank goodness for Janice's model here. Otherwise, I would never have purchased a Nina Holt. Was she called Nina Holt? Nikki Holt? Something like that. Once again, who is this show for? Let me, let me know what you think about who this show is for in the comments box below, please. <laughs> Thank you. And with that, I guess it's time for the Patreons, my loves. You can see yourselves scrolling past all the screen right here. Yes, you can, my lovelies. And I have some extra special Patreon birthdays. I want to say a massive happy birthday to Dr. Dreamarella, whose birthday was on December 12th. I let that one go, didn't I? I'm so sorry, Dr. Dreamarella, my love. And we've got Victoria Carella, whose birthday is on the 7th. I've also let that one go. Oh, sorry. I thought that was like today for some reason. And we've also got Devil Queen 760, whose birthday is on the 17th of January. 
And I hope all of you had marvellous, gorgeous birthdays. Not filled with this level of drama, shall we say. That's quite nice, isn't it? And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Sam 602211023, Jenny, Jaybird, Autumn Holly, Brittany Underwood, Xander Dakota, Gonlaura Sigfusson, I believe. Ivalu Johansson, A River of Songs, Jazzman, Jessie L, Devil Queen 760, Easter Arambula, and Laura Fitzpatrick. Thank you so much for joining the Patreons, you stunners. Click the link in the description box below to find out more. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Husky Panic. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you go and follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream two nights a week, Monday and Thursday, my loves. And I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons, Kelly Loom, Stephanie Neotupski, Laura Ali, Dr. Dreamerella, Steffi Tech, Orkos Samoji, Abigail Ash, Andy Henry, Beebles32, Caitlin Coating, Shell Her. Contra Points, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dana Broderick, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Jared Pavlovsky, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Lane Wade, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Princess Lilium, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Succubus Lena, Traverful, Victoria Corella, Victoria Waldock, and Zaya Naza. Thank you so much for allowing my channel to thrive and survive, you gorgeous people. And you know what? I'm going to leave it on the note of, if you know someone who lives their life in a way that's perhaps a little bit atypical to what you would expect. Don't just reduce them to that one trait because people can be many, many, many more things than just one thing in this world. And remember, they all deserve respect. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.